what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Carolina quarterback Cam Newton said that when he found out that his owner, Jerry Richardson, had intentions on selling the team amid allegations of sexual misconduct and using a racial slur, he was disgruntled. So much so that he kissed him. Well, he didn't kiss him right then. I don't know when that photo was taken, but man, the way he kissed him. He looked really passionate when he did it. Now, here's the deal on Cam. Y'all know I don't like this dude, never have. Don't get caught up. I don't get caught up in a person's prowess on the football field or how great of a talent they are. If they're not generally a human being, or at least a decent human being, I don't mess with them. I don't care who they are, how much influence they have, how much power they have, how much money they have. I want to know what kind of person are you. I'm the kind of cat that I have friends from all walks of life, and I mean all walks of life, all demographics, you name it, old, young, rich, poor, black, white, and everything in between. Because I deal with people on a personal level. It's about who you are as a person. I don't give a damn where you come from, I don't care about your background. I don't care how much you got, what kind of what, what your stature is in society. I don't care about none of that. It's all about what kind of person you are. And on a personal level, how you treat me. Some people like to call people out and say things like, that person, he's a bad person, or well, you know, he dirty, gotta watch him, blah, blah, blah. And and that's cool to, you know, to hear that information, but you gotta take it. Anytime you hear people criticizing people, you got to kind of take it with a grain of salt because sometimes, you know, people just like being negative. But this guy, I got him figured out. Cam is one of those type of dude who's self-serving. You know, he don't know which way to go. You know, he on the fence on this issue. He's on the fence on that issue. Then he goes out and says something really stupid, put his foot in his mouth. He don't really know anything about a situation he don't have any information and he'll just speak out and say something stupid and then next thing you know he's backtracking making a public apology he's probably leading the way with in celebrities making apologies after they've stuck their foot in their mouth now this is what he had to say further about the situation in this day and time it's almost you're automatically guilty until proven innocent. Rather than in the rights of the judicial, judicial system, you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. So everything I've heard were allegations and nothing was actually proven. It's just another person's word versus that person's word. But needless to say, I still think extremely highly of Mr. Richardson. Yeah, Cam, I know you do, because he own you. I don't like that owner. Like, you, you know, you can own the team, but don't be talking about you own me. You know, I don't like that owner. In fact, they might need to say it. They might even need to use another word besides owner even when referring to the team, because if I'm part of the team, then, you know, it's like, you own me too. I don't, I don't like that word. I don't like that word at all. Even, I don't even like the word boss. I've had employees call me boss and I, hey, hey man, don't call me boss. I don't like that word. It's cool in rap music videos and stuff. It's cool in daily life. You know, just the, the idea of being a boss. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. You know, all that's cool. You know, I'm a boss. Everybody want to be a boss. That's cool. You want to be a boss. That's good. You know, I want to be a boss, but I don't like somebody calling me boss. Like, I just got to hang up with that. Just always have had a hang up with that boss. I know cats in the penitentiary call COs boss. Even in the county jail, they be say boss. They be like, what the hell you mean boss? 
uh, whatever your name is, that's what I'm going to call you. Uh, I may call him officer or, or something like that, CEO, whatever, but I'm not going to call another dude boss. I don't do that. That picture of Cam Newton and his owner is despicable. I mean, he's giving them one of them one of them type of kiss. Y'all you, you, heard that double kiss? <laughs> the double smack? He gave him one of those type of kisses. Like, mm, I love you. Mm, mm, mm. You know, that was one of them field kisses. That wasn't like a little, mm, love you, man. That wasn't, you know, that was like, got up in there. He was trying to taste his moisture. Now, Cam said that these are just allegations. If they were just allegations, do you really think that that owner would have stepped down? No way possible. He stepped down because he knows it's just like when the feds come for you. Stop the bleeding as soon as possible because if you don't, they're going to find, they may find more stuff on you. So he knew that he was wrong. He knew that the, the jig was up and them folks was coming. And that's why he, and he stepped down fast. He didn't let it draw, draw, drag out. He didn't like, well, I'm not stepping down. You know, he didn't do the, uh, what was that senator name? Franken, uh, I can't say his name, but anyway, he didn't do that. He was like, he, he wasn't honorary. He just... Step right on down. Allegations came out. Just step right on down. Boy, this, the, this is 2017 was the year of the L's for sexual assaulters. Now, man, 2018 just picked right up, picked up where 2017 left off. I mean, they coming to get them and they falling left and right. I'm talking about giants. They're falling left and right. Cam had no choice but to ride with his boss. He owns him. Jerry Richardson owns Cam Newton. In short, Jerry Richardson carries Cam Newton's balls in a mason jar full of old pickle juice. I just don't like dude. He just don't have... Like, a, he has nothing he stands for. He just goes with the money, whichever way the money go. And, and I, I'm, I hate that I'm about to say this, but I got to say it because I'm thinking about it. <laughs> you know, if you ever be thinking about something, you just got to get it out of your head. But I'm thinking, I was about to say, well, you know, at least Michael Jordan was a chump, but he didn't open his mouth too often. Like, he would just be silent. He, he, he wouldn't speak on anything. He would just be silent. And I'm not saying you got to speak on stuff, especially stuff that you don't know anything about. You don't really have to speak. A no comment in this situation would have been better than him commenting, talking about it's one person's word against another, and these are just allegations. Allegations, my ass. Do step down. You don't... These owners of these football, these major teams, these major pro teams, and they they keep it going for years, decades and decades. They ain't trying to step down. They're like Supreme Court justices or something. They're not trying to give it up. You know how rare it is for an owner to sell a team? They damn near have to die before the family come in and, and take over. So whoever that accuser is, I believe them. I believe her, one thousand percent. And Cam, I don't know, man. I understand why y'all want to ride for Cam. You know, black quarterback, going through a lot. Got some talent. He's talented. You want to see him win? You know, his brother look like you. you. Want to see him win? But Cam is just. He's just black on the outside. On the inside, 
he got that institutional racist mindset. Yeah. That's Cam Newton. If you don't believe me, do your research. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.